I view home as a place to be comfortable in, and a place to relax and unwind after a long day at work. Hi, I am Natasha. And I am Renee, and we are both 27 years old this year. This is our first place since getting married in 2023. It's just under 970 square feet, not really a huge space, but the perfect size for us and our puppy. We didn't manage to secure any BTO units after three years of trying, so we decided to look for a resale unit instead. Staying in a center is what we wanted, so we ended up here in Bishan. For our home, we wanted a minimalist design that's neat and bright, with some warm wood tones. We fell in love with the texture of the mood cloudy cement from Lamitac, so we decided to give it a go too. We also wanted to add some sense of nostalgia and character to our home, so we used glass blocks as a partition wall in our master bedroom. As for colours, we went with shades of green, dark warm wood and a neutral palette. We really liked the foyer when we first saw the house. The window-covered foyer overlooks Bishan's central area, making it a nice place to be in. We've transformed the bright foyer into a plant area and built a full-height carpentry for our shoes and other tall supplies, and a small area at the bottom for our vacuum. The bright foyer brings you to the communal space of the house, the dining, living, and open kitchen. The living and dining areas are combined into one space. To have that clutter-free and clean look, we decided against any carpentry in this space and to just live with loose furniture. What's practical about it is when we host friends and family where they can seamlessly move between the spaces. We dedicated a small area behind our sofa for the dining area. We placed a simple walnut dining set here, just enough to seat our family in. And when it comes to hosting, additional stools can be added around the table. The hanging round paper lantern light adds softness and character to the whole space and provides warm light which sets the mood right. With no built-ins in the living area, it gives us the flexibility to rearrange the furniture whenever we need a change. We continued the same theme here by using a dark wood fluted TV console and wooden trimmings on the television. We also keep most of the walls empty, just to keep the space simple and very easy to maintain. This new space has turned us into hermits. We just love relaxing on the sofa and playing with our puppy. If we didn't have to leave, we probably wouldn't. The kitchen is where you'll see more colour. The sage green laminate adds a pop of colour and the lime wash like upper cabinetry creates a seamless transition to the rest of the house, maintaining a sense of continuity. We used cream coloured small format tiles for the backsplash and we just love how it looks here. Not only that, the green tones here really help us relax whenever we use the space. One of our favorite features in the kitchen is the clever pull-out dish rack we added with our designer, and it is so convenient to use. What I like about this unit is the kitchen windows. It lets in plenty of natural light, which makes doing laundry a breeze, and keeping the space naturally lit during the day. We initially wanted an island in the kitchen, but with the space constraint, we decided against it. Still. We have plenty of worktop area thanks to the long kitchen design. I love how the common area feels so spacious and comfortable. The open kitchen, living, and dining areas are definitely the highlights for us. And I'd say they're the best feature of our house. And to tie everything together, the cool lighting that runs from the living area to the back of the kitchen is the cherry on top. It provides perfect mood lighting and illuminates the whole house with just one switch. 
The bedrooms are all tucked away in one corner of the house, which lets us make the most of the communal area. We turn one of the bedrooms into a playroom for our puppy, and the other into a study for Renee. It is definitely a big space to be made just into a study, and since this unit doesn't have a storeroom, we decided to create one in it. The storeroom is definitely a need for us so we can store our big items out of sight. We used bifold doors as suggested by Angel so we can fully open the space for larger items and skipped any built-ins inside the storage area to keep it flexible. The master bedroom is our private space, but I love showing off the glass blocks feature at the end of the bedroom. The queen size bed fits perfectly in this room and the new layout gave us a nook beside the entrance where we built a full height wardrobe after extending the room. We moved the bathroom vanity out of the bathroom and that's where the glass blocks come in, which is to separate the bedroom and the bathroom. This gave us a bigger shower and toilet area, which was a game changer for us. The glass blocks not only separate the two spaces, but also let light through while maintaining privacy, and at the same time, it reminded us of our childhood home. We love our new home. It's spacious and comfortable, with a design that's simple and clean, making it easy to maintain, especially when we have guests over. All thanks to the team at Built Built. The minimalist design also reflects who we are. The house used to be cluttered and gloomy, and we're so glad it's the complete opposite now, and it feels much more like a home. We've been following Built Built on their socials for quite some time, and we really like their designs and solutions, so we chose them to be part of our renovation journey. I really appreciate the weekly updates and smooth coordination with our project manager, Angela, and Angel's designs truly brought our vision to life. I hope our home inspires you. Bye!